what's up everybody we're gonna get into the themes for each sign for the month of april i'm so excited i love spring hopefully you know it's area season so new beginnings i just saw 11 11 whoa i just saw 1 1 which is 11 not 11 11 got ahead of myself but yes we're gonna get into what is your theme for the month and important dates as well so stick around if you're interested in that i do want to say that i was hearing the song from time in my head but not the one not the original one by drake and janae the you know the ghetto one y'all y'all know what i'm what i'm talking about so <laughs> maybe that's the collective theme for us we just we leaving people alone we get in our bags i hope you guys do know what i'm talking about but yes so let's start with airy since it is airy season and i think i'm just gonna go straight down the line aries to pisces so yes starting with aries what oh my gosh what okay that clearly wanted to come out i know you guys saw that so we have compassion the theme for you this month aries is compassion having compassion with others and yourself and we're gonna get a message from your higher self and then we're gonna look at dates this is gonna be a quick video so what does aries higher self want to say to them about april this aries higher self want to say to them about april this is okay i'm gonna take that oh it says time to let go move the f on this is just so crazy wow because I have a client who's in Aries and a reading I just did for them literally was saying the same thing. But um, so yeah, now I'm gonna try to get important dates. I'm kind of like, I have a, I'm just gonna close my eyes and do it. So I'm gonna take three important dates. Let's see, now the 24th. The 26th and the 27th okay so in the 20s that may that's gonna be a important week for you guys somehow and that's it thank you Aries <laughs> let's move on to Taurus what is the theme for Taurus in April what is the theme for Taurus in April what is the theme for Taurus in April what is the theme? Ooh, that one did like a backflip, but I'm just gonna keep shuffling. <laughs> what is the theme for Taurus in April? 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 Okay, before I look Taurus, I just want to move my camera a little bit back because I feel like it's moving like the last time. I don't know if it actually is, but just to be safe. Okay. <laughs> you guys got health in reverse, so it's emphasized. Okay, 71 or 8 can be an important number. Make sure you're paying attention to your health this month, Taurus. It is going to be Taurus season towards the end, so happy birthday to all my Tauruses. Yes, let me pull for important dates. Oh, I need messages from your higher self, but let me just pull the dates first since I'm already doing that. Okay, we have the 30th, April 30th. We have the 24th. Aries got this as well, so you might have some Aries placements. And we have the 4th, which isn't far away. So look out for those dates, guys. Write it down somewhere. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I couldn't find my deck for higher higher self messages, but what is Taurus's higher self? Okay. <laughs> Came out clear. Some good SHIT is about to happen. Ooh. -hoo. Don't let your issues F it up. So don't self-sabotage, Taurus. Thank you for tuning in. Let's move on to uh, what's next? Gemini. Spirit, what is the theme for my Gemini's? this month gemini sun moon rising venus way too many cards what is the theme for my gemini's this month gemini sun moon rising venus all right you guys got two i'll just take it and they both start with seven seven might be a 
important number to you we have 77 spirituality 77 or 14 or 5 can be important and then we have 74 nature so spirit wants you to I, I would say this means deepen your spirituality by um, deepening your connection with mother earth and nature 74 11 or 2 could be important as well let's get some messages from your higher self so some of you guys may be getting more into nature, more into your spirituality. What does Gemini's higher self want to say to them? What does Gemini? U equals tight ASS. Loosen the F up. Control freaks don't get laid. You heard spirit. Well, that's your higher self. So um, let's get some important dates. I take three dates for each sign. Okay, we have the 11th. 11th. We have the 20th. That's my birthday number. And I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini Cancer. It's a long story. <laughs> and then we have the 28th. So the 11th, the 20th, and the 28th, guys, might be important dates for you let's move on to cancer oh sorry guys let's move on to cancer what is the theme for my okay because that fell out so viciously we're gonna take it <laughs> self-discipline spirit wants <gasps> and i just saw 41 it said 641 on the camera right as i was putting this up so yes emphasize 41 or 5 could be important numbers to you self-discipline spirit wants us to be more self-discipline that's literally all it is <laughs> let's get a message from your higher self if you've been too impulsive spirit is telling you cut that out okay let's get a message from your higher self what does cancer's higher self want to say down about april okay same thing as gemini or was this taurus i'm so sorry i don't know i think this was actually taurus some good s-h-i-t is about to happen don't let your issues F it up. So don't self-sabotage. Same thing I said to Taurus. You got a feeling you just can't shake. Who's ignoring their intuition? That little voice inside you? Listen to that sugar honey iced tea. Okay? Stop ignoring your intuitions, Cancers. Your intuition is your best friend. And let's get some important dates. Okay. I have the 21st. 22nd okay and the 25th okay so that week is important for you guys in april oh apparently this fell out too but it's not a date it's one of my other numbers so 11 might be important for my cancers wow that's crazy i have a friend who's a cancer and 11 always pops up in cancer readings and her birthday is on the 11th so like wow and this isn't even from my date box because as you can see all of my dates have like the ending for it, 25th 21st but this is just from my regular number box it wasn't even supposed to be here it's just a regular 11. so wow um yes let's get into my leos leo sun moon rising venus what is the theme for leos this month okay that came out whoa same as i don't remember who but somebody had this these same cards as well 77 spirituality and 74 nature so like i said to that other sign don't remember what it was i see you guys possibly getting more in touch with mother nature and deepening your spirituality clearly that's just what the cards say this is why it's just gonna be quick because it's not it's nothing for me to explain because these are cards that like have the meaning on the card you know <laughs> But deepening your spirituality, um, being in nature more. Maybe some of you want to get plants. 77 and 74, 11, 2, and 14 or 5 could be an important number. Let's get a message from your higher self, Leo. This, what does Leo, sorry. What does Leo's higher self want to say to them about April? What does Leo's higher self want to say to them about April? What does Leo's higher self want to say to them about April? What does Leo's... Okay. Take 
a effing would it be a true tally video if i didn't get cut off anyways like i was saying leos it says take an effing trip go see some shit do some new things talk to people cooler than you yes leos go on vacation i'm feeling that i'm a leo venus so they talking to me too was that it leo no important dates so let's get some important dates for my leos important dates for my leos okay we have the eighth we have dates in sequence we have the eighth the ninth and the tenth so that week will be important for you leos why is my hand shaking like that let's move on to oh one more thing leo i do want to say that when i got cut off the song i belong to you or belong to you by sabrina i don't remember her last name i'm really so sorry i'll probably comment i'll probably put it in the pinned comment when i remember but yes that was playing in my head so i don't know maybe that's significant to some of you guys i just saw 111 so i don't know let's move on to virgo what is the theme for my virgos in the month of april spirit okay creativity yes the number three might be important i'm liking that virgos y'all yeah, always got something going on <laughs> when i do my weekly zodiac tarot readings it's always something with the virgos but yes a message from your higher self what does virgos higher self want to say to them about april what does virgos higher self want to say to them you do you boo you do you stop trying to change people that s-h-i-t never works yes and that definitely is a common theme with you guys i want to see a happy reading for once so please self-love and let's get some important dates for my virgos important dates for my virgos important dates oh okay i usually only take three but i guess I, a lot just came in my hand so first we have the 28th we have the 17th the 6th the 7th the first tomorrow or today hopefully i post this the night before april that's when i'm recording it so and then we have the fifth so those are your dates please come back and let me know since it, the first is so soon let me know what happens who is next guys i wish this was live so you could tell me virgo libra okay what is the vibe for my Libras in the month of April? Okay. Four, perseverance. So whatever you're working on this month, Libras, don't give up. Whatever hardship you're going through, don't give up on yourself. Yes, I felt called to say that. <laughs> Let's get a message from your higher self. What does Libras higher self want to say to them? For April, this Libra's high, higher self want to say to them, Ooh, got a little tongue twisted. Get the F outside, move your ASS. So some of you have been inside too much. Your body is pissed at you. You better listen. And important dates, important dates for my Libras. Okay, you guys got extra like Virgo too. Hmm. You might be a Virgo with no, you might be a Libra with Virgo placements because these are some of the same dates, but we have the first, oof, the fifth, the seventh, and the twenty-eighth. So that's all for you, Libra. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Let's move on to who? Who who Scorpio? Oof. My Scorpios. Let me tell you something about Scorpios. I'm a Scorpio moon, so I just have like a deep attachment to anybody that has any type of Scorpio placements. I love, like, I attract a lot of Scorpio placements, like a lot. 
and I can't help it. I just, it's something about Scorpio energy. I, Scorpio is my favorite sign. I love Scorpio energy. The, just the mysterious vibe to it. I love it. Like, I think it is so fire. And I think I might be biased, but I think having a Scorpio moon is one of the coolest things you can have. Shout out to my fellow Scorpio moons. But I really do feel like a Scorpio moon, that is fire. But I'm over here gassing, y'all. Let's get into it what is the question um what is the theme for my scorpios okay i'll just take this you have moderation emphasize 14 or 5 could be important to some of you so this is talking about finding balance finding your balance in life and all the things in your life within the month of april let's get a message from your higher self what does scorpio's higher self I want to say to them about April with the Scorpios. We have stop obsessing. Oh, you in my business. <laughs> you are not the effing center of the universe. Oh, okay. Well then. <laughs> Let's get some important dates. Oh my gosh, so many piles are um so many signs are getting extra all of a sudden. Because I was only taking three, and then when I got to like virgo i think i started getting four or five we have the 28th the 7th the 5th and the 15th so yes that's all i have for you scorpio let's move on to sag what is the theme for my Sagittarius's in the month of April? What is the theme for my Sagittarius's in the month of April? What is the theme for my Sagittarius's? Oh my gosh, spirituality again. So some of you guys might be really deepening your spirituality and it's emphasized. So yeah, spirituality will be a big thing for you this month. The number 77 or 14 or 5 could be important. So got a message from your higher self. Uh, what does Sagittarius higher self want to say to them about rude? But yes, we got three cards. Let's take them. Oh my gosh, four. A lot, Sag. So we have you equals tight ASS. Loosen the F up. Control freaks don't get laid. Why do I really feel like you guys got this for the last quick messages I did? But don't take my word for it. We have F fear. It will lie to your face which is a fact stop effing whining oh my gosh <laughs> they're like really cursing at you guys no one wants to listen to that sugar honey iced tea complaining makes you weak you have the strength to change your world so do it complaining does make you weak crying doesn't make you weak complaining makes you weak yeah i'm gonna go with that because you do have the power to change your world so do it Period. Go after everything that you want. Yup. And then we have mm -hmm, make it rain. So you guys could be making money this month. Or spirit is saying to treat yourself. Either way. Get important dates for Saj. Yeah, like it started off with me just taking three. And then once I got to Virgo, it's just I'm getting so much more. I don't know. So we have the second. The 8th, the 16th, the 9th, 10th, 20th. Okay, so those are your important dates for the month of April, Sag. Let's move on to Capricorn. What is the theme for my Capricorn Sun? Moon, Rising, Venus is for the month of April. What is the theme for my Capricorn? My Capricorns for the month of April. What's the theme for my Capricorns in the month of April? Okay. We have creativity. Virgo got this. So I see my earth signs being creative, period. Three could be an important number. Let's get a message from your higher self. What does Cap's higher self want to say to them? Ooh. In true Capricorn nature, money, 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 
make it rain so you guys might be making a lot of money like i just said to Saj, or spirit is telling you to treat yourself let's see your important dates get one more so i have the 14th the 20th and the third so another three coming up three could be important to some of you let's move on to aquarius we're almost done what y'all got going on <laughs> in april what is going on well what is the theme for aquarius in the month of april what is the theme for aquarius in the month of april what is the theme for aquarius in the month of april wow and those spool out so we have seven personal growth okay so some of you may be getting into astrology i don't know why i mentioned this but this this card does mention astrology when you go and read what it's about it's talking about deepening your understanding of yourself so that you can grow and to patience so while you're doing this guys i think spirit is saying to have patience with yourself while you're growing and growing outgrowing outdated things let's get a message from your higher self aquarius and have patience with others as well well you guys just keep like doing this to me what does aquarius's higher self want to say to them what is Aquarius's higher self going to say? Okay. What is Aquarius's higher self? Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just BS. Forgive. Let that S H I T go. So if you guys are holding in, holding on to any shame, regret, or guilt, like it said, resentment, um, bitterness, just let it go. Let's get important dates. We have the 8th, the 2nd, the 16th, and the 14th. Okay, that's it, Aquarius. And now the last sign, let's go into Pisces. What is the vibe for Pisces in the month of April? What is the vibe? Way too many cards. What is the vibe? What is the vibe for Pisces in the month of April? What is the vibe for Pisces in the month of April? What is the vibe for Pisces in the month of April? Spirit, now you know that it's too many cards. What is the vibe for Pisces in the month of April? What is the vibe for Pisces in the month of April? Like, what is going on? Surrender. Maybe that was it. Maybe you guys are fighting something too hard. But the number 91, 10, or 1 could be important. This month is about letting go. I did forget to say in the beginning. I might redo my intro. So maybe I didn't forget according to you guys. But now you know my Pisces. It'll be our secret. Cancer and Pisces, you know, we really get along. But anyways, um, <laughs> the overall, the universal month, this month of April will be month nine which is about letting go of things that don't serve us so maybe you guys need to surrender to a certain outcome and just let it go because it could be letting go of a certain situation or a person or it could mean releasing your attachment to certain things that you want to work out because once you release your attachment and let the universe handle it that's when things really can happen it's got a message from your higher self message message from pisces higher self message it says you look like a s-h-i-t show you're a hot mess fact clean yourself up oh my gosh i'm so sorry pisces take it up with spirit but that's what we'll take it up with yourself because that's what your higher self wanted to say let's get some important dates we have the 14th the 15th the 17th and the third 
and that's it that's the end of pisces the end of this whole video if you watched all the way through thank you so much thank you for being so interested in me um thank you always for tuning in i don't know how many people will actually see this ending but <laughs> Thank you to everybody who is watching this ending for tuning in. Please make sure you like if any of these messages resonated with you or whatever, you know, um, comment down below how you're feeling about April and yeah. Bye guys.